close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. Here we have a standard H4 bulb, 55 watt halogen bulb, which has high and low uh, on this bulb. And you are probably wondering if it's possible to upgrade this kind of bulb if you have ever been traveling in a car with these newer HID systems or LED uh, systems that have come on the market the last years you may be feeling that your headlights are getting really dim but LG, LED technology have now come a long way and you now have bulb that are uh, plug and play for uh, the old halogen sockets and these are actually really good so there ha have been a lot of different LED bulbs on the market for a few years now but the last years now there are there are coming out a lot better bulb which are not blinding other people and you get the right light pattern from the headlight and uh, the reason that this first uh, or the reason why it's now possible or uh, the LD diodes that made it possible at first was this Philips SETI S diodes by LumLeds and these ones are really bright and small and doesn't have that cone on the top so manufacturers can now angle the beams at uh, much more, uh, much more consistently and therefore getting better beam patterns and here you can see the tungsten coil in the halogen bulb and compare that to the LED ones they look really similar and the size is uh, really close to each other also on good LED bulbs like this one uh, the base on it is getting thinner because previous versions you had to make them much thicker and therefore the light pattern would be off because then like the coil that these LEDs resemble would then be uh, one centimeter thick and uh, in reality it's maybe one or two millimeters but the circuit board as you can see in there is actually really thin and the uh, aluminium construction also is a little bit thicker but still uh, good and you also see that you have this shield here for the low beam in the H4 bulbs which also is a big improvement over a lot of other H4 bulbs on the market this bulb is all also fitted with a fan and there's a lot of different bulbs that have uh, made it this way and special with this fan is that they didn't cheap out and use the simplest parts because those um, oil bearing ones, those fans will uh, get a lot of debris in them and then get stuck in the oil and therefore stop working after a while and therefore the, fa the fan will die out long before the diodes, diodes on the hair and therefore shortening the lifespan and performance of the bulb and this kind of active uh, cooling also makes the bulb fairly small which makes it even more easy to restore So this is how the car looks with the LED bulbs from the outside and in my opinion it looks really nice. Here you can see the light pattern or the light beam, this Saab is a European version so it got the Euro uh, headlights as you can see on the angle there but as you can see there isn't a lot of glare and you have a nice light beam which is gonna <laughs> which is going to correspond to a nice evenly lit up road and uh, not blinding other drivers 
and here is the high beam. Here we are driving on the road and as you can see the light pattern is still nice. As you can see there it's a border and switch to high beam and we get a lot of more light on a longer distance and less light in front of the car. As you can see there, there's a big difference. I am used to driving with LED bars and other LED extra lights, so this isn't necessarily super bright for me, but comparing them to standard halogen bulbs, they are around two to three hundred percent stronger, and uh, I'm really serious, they are a lot stronger and they won't fade over time either, which is really nice. So